And right now, it gives me a great honor to introduce the, the final performer of the night. He's someone I have wanted to work with for many years, and I'm, I'm so thrilled that it actually is happening tonight with all of you. He has traveled all four corners of the world, and he shuffles without hands. He walks without feet. And you're about to understand what true magic really looks like. So please, Sultan Room, give a huge round of applause for the one and only Maddie Gilbert. <laughs> Maddie Gilbert. Thank you, brother. Have you ever signed a card before? No. First time. Let's do it like this. The Jack of Diamonds. Do me a favor. Hold out your hand. Okay. Uh, no, both hands. Both hands. I'll put the card... No, no. Open. Open. I'll put the card in your hand and put the other hand on top so it's like a sandwich and hold it. Okay. And we'll use the... Uh, we'll use the next card. The Three of Hearts. Watch, if I take the three, and I rub it, did you know, uh, <laughs> did you know that magic is real? <laughs> <laughs> I believe, I believe you. Because if I rub, you feel that, right? Mm -hmm. Your card jumps from your hand on top. Now I have your card with your oh signature. My God. <laughs> okay. And if I have your card with your signature, look inside your hand. What do we have? Yo. Wow. <laughs> now let me let me ask you something. Who here thinks? Uh, who here knows about in, in, intuition? Who here thinks that women have better intuition? <laughs> oh. Okay. Who here thinks uh, that maybe men have better intuition? <laughs> They're scared to admit. You know, there's a difference. The first time there was no laughter, and then the second time, you know. Exactly. <laughs> So maybe you think that women have better intuition and men maybe, maybe have more influence. Would, was that a fair trade-off? Yeah. No. <laughs> I mean, the world is changing, but this is a debate that's been going on for, for many years. Uh -huh. Maybe men have a little bit more influence? Maybe. No. 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 <laughs> Can we have anything? <laughs> Maybe, maybe 
what intuition and influence are maybe it's really the same thing maybe uh, you know maybe something that seems totally insig insignificant uh, at one point becomes very important later and maybe maybe the things that you think that are happening are not really what's happening maybe you've already made up your mind and no matter what happens you have an idea of what's going to happen okay and because of that it happens okay. <laughs> make sense makes sense and do you believe that I could provide to you in concrete form your own thoughts even before you yourself have had them <laughs> do, you, do you even understand the question? I do. But the other guy did it, so I made it. <laughs> and, and yet it's possible. And yet it's possible. Karina. Yes. Um, are you here with a, a friend? With family, yes. Uh, men or women? Looks Three like women, one man. Okay, one. Is it, you're the guy. I'm the guy. guy. You're the man. Lucky you. Uh, here's what we'll do. Um, oh, I just deal out cards like this, and whenever you want, you say stop. Okay. Stop. Here. Here. Okay. <laughs> Take these cards, put it away. You can sit on them, you can put them behind you. Just make sure that nobody can touch them. Nobody's behind you. <laughs> hey, don't, there. don't tell her what to do. We have the intuition of the influence. <laughs> so you made a decision. Decision number two. Uh -huh. Do you want to keep the man that you have? <laughs> or do you want to choose another man? You can do it. He's capable. He's capable. Yeah. <laughs> so where you stopped, we'll uh, we'll give him a card, okay. and hold this against your. You have a pocket. Put it in your pocket. Don't let anybody see it. Don't look at it yourself. And uh, okay, decision number two. All right. Do you want to stick with this man? We can get another one. It's fine. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, there's plenty. There's a lot here, but are you happy with this one, or you want more than one? I have one more than one. I mean, they can take... You have more than one already? <laughs> Is he here also? <laughs> no? Not tonight. So, okay. No, anybody. Anybody. Anybody will do, yeah. right? Yeah. Which, I mean, which, which one do you like? I mean, which one do you want? <laughs> it could be um, any man. Right here, gentlemen. This guy? Yes. Okay. Hello. Are you okay with that, sir? Sure. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ask you because you did. Oh, sorry. Would you like to? Would you? I don't know what I'm volunteering for, but sure. What's What's your name? Titus. Titus. Do me a favor. I'm gonna deal uh, cards like this, and the exact same thing. You just say stop whenever you want. Stop. Here. Titus. We're going to do the same thing. You're a little bit far. Uh, I'll take the card that you stopped at, and we'll put it here on the table. And now, are you happy with two men? I'm happy with two men. <laughs> but wait, but wait. Because I've heard, no, no, because seriously, I've heard in this city that sometimes two men are not enough for women. <laughs> I don't want to get greedy, but. <laughs> would, would you be okay with another man? Let's do it. <laughs> no, I mean, I was just asking you. I mean, you're very, you know. <laughs> okay, for your third man. Is this your final man? Uh, if, yeah, sure. <laughs> I mean, I can go and eat something. Okay, well, we can keep going until what? I mean, there's only somebody right at the roof. <laughs> do you want to continue? One more? One more. Let's do it. Okay, look around. <laughs> oh, I get to pick again? Uh, I, uh, um, yeah, you uh, can pick. Okay. Sir, behind, would you like to participate? Sure. Yep. Yes, there you go. Oh, sir, what, what is your name? Brian. Oh, don't mind, somebody just died. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Brian? Brian, yeah. 
Brian, we'll do the exact same thing. Uh, I'll deal a few cards, and whenever you want, you say stop. Stop. Here? Okay, we'll put a card down for you. Brian, now your, your final decision. Okay. I'll, okay. You've already chosen three men. <laughs> a lot more than I thought you would. <laughs> Do you want to stop there, or do you want to do one more? Let's do one more. <laughs> <laughs> Let's look at the last one. The last one you said was the last one. Okay, See, you're one. influencing me. <laughs> if, if I weren't here, you would probably make the exact same choice. Yeah, I'm trying to make you feel better. It's okay. <laughs> Okay. One, one more. One more. Okay. One more. You know, there's, there's many. Yes. You want me? No. <laughs> wow. Okay. Take it. Take the different one. Of you. Okay. Gentlemen, uh, here. Would you like to participate again? Sure. Okay. So, this is a new man. Yeah, you know what? Do we even bother asking your name? Does it matter? Yeah. Jonathan. 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 You already, you already, we already used you. Yeah, yeah he's been used. You, <laughs> you used the same man. You can't use the same man over and over again. That's not going to be the first time. So. <laughs> <laughs> not for me, though. Not for me, though. <laughs> I'm, saying, I'm, I'm not even going to have you take a card. I'm just going to give you a card. Right? <laughs> just going to give you a card. Okay, let's, let's, let's calm down, everyone. Because <laughs> at the beginning I explained, sometimes somebody can be saying something and everybody can have a thought in their mind. Maybe it's possible that everybody's thinking the same thing. Even though nobody's saying something open, maybe in the undercurrent, everybody has the same exact idea. Maybe it's influence, maybe it's intuition. But out of these four, well, three men. <laughs> well, four. No, the three. Oh, no, four, four. Yeah. So where did this guy come from? <laughs> no, no, that's Brian. That's Brian. You're, you're, you're losing track. <laughs> you have too many men. No, Brian, Titus, Jonathan, and G. She will not falter. A feat so impressive, I am unable to repeat it myself. <laughs> These four men. Which one would you like? Oh, um, G. 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 That's your final choice. Yes. G. G. Uh, for the first time, show everybody what you have. What do you have? <laughs> Ten of spades. Ten of spades. Ten. Ten. Thank you very much. <laughs> no, no, because at the beginning I said, uh, no, no, you guys remember, at the beginning I said sometimes we can do things that may not seem significant, but at the, at the beginning, but at the end, they have deep meaning. Mm -hmm. For the first time, unroll this and open it. He has a 10 put on the table, and what does it say? Ten. Ten. <laughs> But wait, you could have stopped there. I know. But no. you chose three other men. Yes. Over here, we have a ten. Over here, we mm -hmm. have a ten of diamonds. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But hold on. No, it was the men who chose the cards. But wait, at the beginning, at the, well, you chose the men. But wait, at the very beginning, you said stop. Mm -hmm. You can't have a 10 because we've exhausted all the 10s, but maybe there's some way that we can come up with a 10. How many cards do you have? Count them out, <coughs> out loud. Just take them out and okay. deal them out. No, no, I, down here. Down okay. Here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh. Five. <laughs> I'm not too sure who wins in that, but uh, thank you.
You can take a seat. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, okay. Who, who here is good at math? Who here is good at math? Somebody, maybe your accountant or... Uh, Thank you. This lady? <laughs> have, her, have her come up. No, no, seriously. No, no, but just, for example, just come up. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, and everybody just awkwardly stared at her while she's like, this. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if you're actually good at math. Do you know what this number is? <laughs> okay, we're, I think we're, we're, we're starting out. We're starting out well. Uh, what is your name? I'm Jeanette. Jeanette. Ah, oh, like the famous singer from Spain who sang uh, Por qué te vas? Por qué te vas? Are you Spanish also? No. <laughs> but you have the teeth. <laughs> I had to stop. That's too much. You're good at math. Jeanette. They say I'm good at math. <laughs> All right, let's, let's do something with you. Uh, it's sort of the same thing. You'll take a card, just say stop whenever you want. Okay. Stop. Here. Mm -hmm. And we'll take the card, and you remember it, and we'll use this card. How many cards are in a deck of cards? Fifty-two. Fifty-two. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Fifty-two. So, if, if you were to estimate, if you were to estimate, if we were to put your card about this far down, if you were to estimate, how far down would you say it was? Not the exact number, but if you had to estimate, how far down? Like 20, like, like what? 20. Or 30? Or what? I'll say 25. 25. 25. You're good at that. <laughs> 25 or less? Like, okay, I'll say 20. Okay, 20, 20. 20. <laughs> 20. Or less. <laughs> 20. Or less. <laughs> like, like 19 or 18. Okay. <laughs> yeah, 20 or less. <laughs> 20? 20. Or? 20 or less. <laughs> Less. It's 20. Or less. Like 19. 19? Okay, 19. Or less. Like 18. 18. 18. 18. Or less. Or less. Like 17. 17. Or, or less. Or less. 15? 15. 15. Or, or, or less. Like 14. <laughs> said you were good at math. <laughs> ten? Okay, ten, ten. Ten, ten. Or less. Or less. <laughs> Turn over the 
the top card and show to everyone. Yeah. Now, do you understand the game? <laughs> you understand? Understand what? <laughs> Math? <laughs> Look, put it on top. And here's what we'll do. We'll do it again. Look, if I cut the deck about halfway, about halfway, and I put about half the deck on top of your card, how many cards go on top if you were to estimate? <laughs> 20 or less. <laughs> no, no, no. It was more, look, let's be real. It was more like 35, but if you want 20, we can do 20 or less. <laughs> what do you do for, 20 or less? Less. Right? Like? Um, one. <laughs> You're smarter than... Choose again. No. One? But you know it's not one because we put it in the middle. For it to be one, it would have to be exactly on top of the look. Maybe you think that I'm influencing you oh. because Yeah, guys, if you turn off the light, I mean if you turn on the light, it's you know, we're very ugly here. <laughs> just keep that off. Uh, no. Because you think I'm the, perhaps I'm influencing you, correct? It's possible. It's possible. Because I'm asking you questions, you know, you think that you are making a decision, but maybe I'm having you change your mind. What if I don't make you change your mind? What if you have complete control? Do you like control? Of course. Do you want control? Yes. This time, you'll choose where your card goes. Okay. I won't say anything. Okay. Say stop yes, yes. wherever you want. Stop. We have to put the card in the middle first. Okay. Say stop. Stop. Here. <laughs> Watch your card. The rest of the deck doesn't matter. I don't do anything. Where was your card? Where was it? Yeah. It was there. So tell me, where's your card now? Where is it now? Yeah.
Jeanette, do you want to learn how this works? Yes. Yes. Good. You guys want to learn how it works? Yes. yes. When I was starting out in Magic, I couldn't do anything with a deck of cards. Now I shuffle, I, you know, I do all this stuff, I lie. Or, you know. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I became very bad. <laughs> do me a favor, cut anywhere you want. And which pile do you prefer, this one or this one? Uh, pick it up and turn it face up and spread the cards like this and I'll spread these face down. Yeah, turn it over. And it's about half the cards face up, about half the cards face down. And you cut wherever you want it, right? Yes. When I was starting out in Magic, I couldn't do anything with a deck of cards. So I would wait until everybody in my house went to sleep and then I would sit in the dark and I would try to come up with things that I could do. Uh, but in the beginning, I couldn't do anything. So every single night, I would drop the cards. And every single morning when the sun would rise, the cards would be mixed face up and face down. It would be a complete mess, sort of like this. And this isn't a, com this isn't, you know, a perfect shuffle. It was if, if it was a perfect shuffle, the cards would be interlaced, like one to one. and. Um, but, you know, you, you understand. Yeah. I'm not going to match, but you understand. Right? <laughs> but the cards would be a complete mess with cards face up and cards face down. Every single night. Every single night. And so, I, but every single night I would try. Every single night I would try and every single morning I would see and I would have the same result. That is with cards face down and I would have cards face up. Cards in every single direction. Slowly I learned how to shuffle, and I learned how to cut. I learned how to do all the things that magicians need to do. But even though I, I learned how to do this, I would still have the same result because it was, you know, it was impossible for me to do magic. So every single night the cards would remain with cards face up and cards uh, face down. Cards in every single different position. Do me a favor, hold out your hands. I'll put one uh, here and one here, and um, I can't I can't recreate the darkness of my room, uh, but bring your hands together, and I'm going to ask you to close your eyes, and everybody in the audience close your eyes as well because I can't turn out the lights. Every single night, the cards would be mixed face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face down, every single night. Until the night that I became a magician. On that night, the sun rose. Open your eyes. Did I touch you? No. Did I touch the cards? No. Did the cards move? No. The cards were just mixed face up, face down, face up, face down, face up, face down, the whole way through. Open your hand. Every single card is now face down. Look through the deck. Every single card is now face down. But look, let's show everybody. Every single card is now face down. Every single card. But oh, wait, except for one card. Exactly, exactly. Because, uh, you know, I, I don't want to lose you. <laughs> Once you disappear back there, you yeah. got uh, And I don't want to use this guy. He's already, he's been used enough. <laughs> Does anybody have the time? Do you have a watch on you? No. Does anybody have the time? 8.40. 8.40. This is the time that I usually do my favorite uh, piece of magic in the world. One of my favorite pieces. This is a piece called the, the card inside the pocket. Actually, I don't need you. Thank you very much. And take a seat. Well, the, the reason, the reason uh, here, take a seat. The reason is if I put it inside your pocket, maybe I get accused. The lights were off. And, <laughs> but but take a seat. This is a this is a piece of magic called the card inside the pocket. And many people ask, how can the card be inside the pocket if the card's on the table? Well, the card's not really on the table. The card only looks like it's on the table, but it's really inside the pocket. 
How is that possible? Because the card is never on the table. If I squeeze, actually, that's not true. The card is on the table. But if I squeeze, <laughs> the card disappears. Can you guys see it? It becomes invisible. You see it? Yeah, it's, it's very advanced technique. Only somebody skilled would see it. But <laughs> uh, it goes right inside the pocket. If the card's n no longer over here, where is it? The only place that it could be is inside my pocket. My hand is empty. I mean, well, I don't have a hand, but <laughs> it's empty. And inside my pocket, we have one card. Exactly, the king of spades. It's a little weird, right? Yeah, but I told you, magic is real. <laughs> what do you expect? No, no, because many times magicians use uh, different techniques. Some magicians use more than one card. I don't use more than one card. So can I ask you to help me? Can you sign the card with your name so that everybody see? And you've never signed a card before? What's your name? Victoria, sign it, uh, just across the middle so that everybody can see. Everybody can see this. Okay, now do me a favor, Victoria. You don't have very big hands, but you have bigger hands than me. Just hold them out. <laughs> Some magicians have a special technique where they can put the card inside their hand. And you see if you sort of like close your fingers a bit and you turn it over, how you can hide it. <laughs> yeah, some magicians use this technique and they, they slide the card inside their pocket. Did you, did you guys see when I did that? <laughs> she saw it. Only one person saw it because, because of the angle. It's a very wide room. <laughs> no, no, but really it looks like this and it's, it's completely invisible. You, you can see it now, but then when I hide it, it's gone. <laughs> It's the lighting, it's the lighting, but no, 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 <laughs> usually it's gone, and then very quickly I tell the joke, and then I go inside the pocket, and I put it there while I'm telling the joke, and then nobody thinks anything of it, and then I show my hand empty, I reach inside the pocket, and I, and I once again, I show the card. <laughs> You don't believe that's how I did it? <laughs> well, if I didn't do it that way, then the only way that I could have done it is by magic. Let's do it one more time. Your card. Make sure everybody can see it and push it in all the way. And hold the deck. And I pull it invisibly out. Hold the deck in your other hand. You guys can see it, right? At least you can. Yeah, she can see it. It's invisible. I put it inside my pocket. I don't want to even reach in. Reach in with your free hand inside my pocket. Tell me what you feel. There's a card. There's a card. Pull it out and show it to everybody. trouble because I go over time, but uh, maybe you guys want to see one more before we leave. And uh, I don't come here very often. So, Victor, would you mind helping me? Is, is that okay with you guys? Do you have time for one more? Yeah, this last, I usually save this for the end because it takes like three hours. <laughs> Um, this is a very simple trick, and this is one of my favorite pieces of magic that I ever learned. It uses, uh, I'll show you what it uses, it uses three red cards and three black cards. And this was a piece of magic from one of my mentors. His name was René Lavand, and he was born with two hands, but he lost one of his hands in an accident when he was seven years old. He was playing ball in the street, and he dropped his ball and he ran into the street, and a car 
pained him and he lost one of his hands. And for many years he wanted to do magic and his family and everybody told him that it was impossible because whoever heard of a magician with only one hand, you need to have two hands. And this was a guy who I heard about and I, I, uh, I, I read about him. The reason why I read about him is he eventually became a world famous magician. And when he was 30 years old, he, he, he quit his job. He had been practicing magic for years, so he quit his job working at a bank. And he started doing shows in his town of Buenos Aires. And uh, everybody loved his magic. And when I saw him, I thought, here's a guy who, here's a guy who has uh, only one hand, but he, he chose to do the impossible. And I thought, well, Maybe he only has one hand, and I don't have hands, and maybe I don't, maybe I don't really understand how I'm going to do this. I don't know. I don't know how I'm going to make this work. But if this guy, um, if this guy did it, maybe there's a way for me to do it. Because isn't that what magicians are supposed to do? Magicians are supposed to do the impossible, and they're supposed to be believe in the impossible, even if everybody, even if every other magician that they ever meet tells them what they're doing can't be done. They have to keep trying to do it because that's what a magician is. A magician keeps trying to do the impossible until they succeed. That's what magic is. And, and ever since I understood that, I understood that what magic was real. So I do this trick and it's a tribute to him. Uh, one of my mentors, uh, it's a very simple trick. It uses only three red cards and only three black cards, and something that I don't have, uh, hands. <laughs> Can I borrow your hands? The first thing that we do, uh, we have three red cards and three black cards. The first thing that we do is we mix the cards one by one, so that there's absolutely no doubt as to what is where. First, we put a red card, followed by a black card, followed by a red card, followed by a black, followed by a red, and a black. Hold out your hands, and with your palms towards you, towards your body, open your fingers, open your fingers and interlace them as if you were praying, and show everybody, like this, like this. This is the position of the cards. We have red and black, and red and black, and red and black, and red and black. You understand? Yeah. The same thing that's happening over here is what's happening over here. I said I needed you to help me. If you pull your fingers apart, close your fingers and put one hand on top of the other. Because you do that over there, maybe the same thing, maybe the exact same thing happens over here. Even though these were just mixed, red, black, red, black, red, black. Now. They should be black, wow. black, and black. Thank you. You want to do it again? Sure. Hold on. One of the oldest rules in magic is you can oh. never repeat the same trick twice. <laughs> That is with some cards face up and some cards face down. Some cards that you can see and some cards that you can't see. Some people say to me, Maddie, I didn't see this card. So I'll show you every single card so that there's absolutely no doubt as to what is where. Over here, we have a red, a red, and a red, and a black, and a black, and a black. Black, and a red, and a black, and a red, and a black, and a red. One more time. Interlace your fingers. This is the position of the cards. Red, black, red, black, red, black. I don't do anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it was on me. <laughs> <laughs> 
even though these were just mixed, red, black, red, black, red, black. Some people say no, no, no. I say yes. Yes, and yes, red, and red, and red, and over here, black, Woo! and black. Now, I know what some of you are thinking, maybe this is my wife. <laughs> some of you are thinking that, but most of you are thinking, maybe this is my daughter. <laughs> And maybe I've trained you to do something with the cards, and you're helping me. It's possible. You prefer the red or the black? Uh, the black. The black. Take the black. And do you want to go first or second? I'll go second. Okay, so you want me to go first? Face up or face down? <laughs> can see the position of the cards. In a moment, I'm going to separate these three cards from these three cards, and once they're separated, they'll never touch again. But first, let's remember the position. Black and red and black over here, and red and black and red over here. And I'll show you all the cards again so there's absolutely no doubt as to what is where. Over here we have black <coughs> and red and black. And over here we have red and black and red. One more time, can you interlace your fingers? And I already see you're interlacing your fingers you know what, let's speed it up. If you have hands, interlace your fingers. <laughs> I would do it, but uh, somebody needs to do the magic. <laughs> now, only if you believe in magic, only if you believe in magic, pull your fingers apart. Put one hand on top of the other. And if it works, you should have every single black. <laughs> separation in life and in death. We're constantly being separated from the people that we love and the things that we care about. Take a seat. Thank you. And I don't want to end like this because what's the point of bringing things together if only at the end they're going to be pulled apart? In this piece of magic, every single time I separate the black, black, blacks from the reds, reds, reds. So I'm going to ask you to interlace your fingers one more time but not by yourselves, with each other. Interlace your fingers to the person to your right and to your left. And if this works, if this works, even though the cards were just separated over and over, the card should now be red and black and red and black and red and black. Thank you, Thank you. 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 Thank you.